What's up guys, I know it's been a little bit delayed, but today we have a really cool video for you guys. Uh, I'm waiting on Gio right now to get here, because this is kind of, really Gio's kind of thing that he's about to do. But I did start for him, so quick introduction about what's going on. Um, we are wrapping the car, the color is over here. Nah, 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 I'm not gonna show you guys yet. Wait for Gio to get here. So what I've been doing while I've been waiting for Gio, because I've been home for about a few hours now. Uh, first things first, I uh, washed the car. As you guys can see, it's really clean now. Uh, it's pollen season, so I had to shut the garage. And um, after I washed it, I brought it in here as quick as possible because this car has been getting pretty yellow pretty fast. Um, I went ahead and started debadging. I have to get the rest of this uh, double-sided tape off of here. But I went ahead and removed the hood emblem already. As you guys can see right there, the hood emblem's gone. I got rid of the badges on this side and the double side tape is gone on this side. And then um, I got rid of the window decals because, well, it just doesn't match. I got rid of the decals on, well, the emblems on the back. It said E63 here. I still have a little bit more, uh, you can see it there. I still have a little bit more double side tape to get off of there. License plate is off. Um, I have to take off this emblem, which requires me to remove all the trunk liner and stuff, so we'll do that in a second. And then I have to get off the double-sided tape on this side as well. But as you guys can see, as you guys can see, pretty much ready to go, ready for Gio when he gets here. Here's the color, you guys can kind of see it. Um, leave it in the bag for now. But this is a uh, blue satin metallic blue, or well, satin blue aluminum is the name of the color. Um, got my license plates in, I don't know if I've showed you guys that. Um, I don't really know what our plan is today to get started on this car, where we're gonna start. Um, I think what we talked about was doing the sides and doing the bumpers last, or doing the, I really don't remember. And hopefully by next weekend we have the stuff to, you know, take care of these wheels. Um, we're just gonna kinda make it look a little bit better for now until we you know kind of narrow down on a wheel choice and stuff like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up painting these wheels in gloss black and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do that and what we're gonna do that with so stay tuned for that video because that should be pretty cool and it really will change the look of the car because I'm super excited super excited to get rid of the black um, after it's washed it gets dirty within I don't know an hour and I've kind of gotten really tired of that I love the look you know, the black look with the black windows and you know, if it had black wheels, it would look even better. But what we did was the chrome delete and it made the car look a lot better already. So I can only imagine what the wheels would have done. But I'm just sick of the black paint. Plus this paint needs a paint correction. Instead of doing that right now, I decided just to wrap it since summer's coming up and we can get a nice different color for summer. Gio is here now and we are getting to wrap the car. No measuring tape. Nope. <laughs> we left the measuring tape. But it's okay, because we're gonna do this the old school way. Right, Gio? Right, <laughs> So first we're doing the back bumper. No, first we're doing the front bumper. Oh, first, out the way. first we're doing the front bumper. The hardest piece is the front bumper, Gio says. And it's really not that hard of a bumper, to be honest. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. It's not that curvy or anything. He wants to leave some of it a little black, so. So we're gonna leave the parking sensors in black, so we have front and rear parking sensors. We're gonna cut those out. And then, um, are you gonna take out these tow hook, well, these, this uh, windshield washer thing to wrap it? Well, that doesn't come out. Yeah. Only the tow hook thing. Yeah. How do you do that part? I wrap it and cut it. Wrap it and cut it, all right. You know what you're doing here? Never did it before. Never done this before in his life. So, first time wrapping a car. I'm just kidding. It's not Gio's first time wrapping a car. Gio, you wanna tell people a little background about your vinyl installation uh, experience? I've been wrapping for maybe about four years now. I am Avery certified. I work at Rocket Wraps currently right now. He works at Rocket Wraps currently right now. Wow, this looks kind of cool already. It took us two minutes and 49 seconds. But um, you guys probably saw that in about 30 seconds or less. Um, so yeah, this color is a lot cooler now that it's actually on the car and it's not just all rolled up in like, you know, cylinder. Now the light's hitting it from different angles and stuff. It looks really cool. It kind of, it kind of does remind me of B5 a little bit. Like, let's see. Here, look. This is the comparison. Right here. 
they have this piece from the old scat. I'll put it right here. It's different. It's not too far off though. Hey, yeah, look, if you come look at it right here, holy shit, it looks super purple. Bro, look. No, like, if you look at it right here, it looks super purple. Like, look at that right there. You see it? <laughs> yeah, that has like a pro to it. Alright guys, so we got the front bumper pretty much done. This is the driver's side right here. And then this over here is the passenger side. We just gotta cut out the tow hook and then the fog light area on this side. The bottom portion of the lip in black, we're probably gonna wrap it in gloss black or maybe carbon. It kinda makes it look like there's a little bit of a lip on it. It looks really nice. But you guys can see right here, this side is done for the most part. Uh, I would call it done all the way up here and then tomorrow we're gonna knock out pretty good well what's the goal for tomorrow Gio? both sides and the back bumper the blue we've noticed that even inside it has like a weird crazy purple you, you can kind of see it right there it has a purple hue to it a little bit the body lines really make that pop so i can't wait to take pictures of this in the daytime what do you think what else you guys say for the night nothing I'm nothing water burger taquitos let's do it all right so geo's gone and um i decided to hang out after and uh do the side markers and carbon fiber had some laying around and i think that looks sick we still obviously have to cut out these uh little air vents here but I think this looks really sick. So I think I'm gonna stay with this. And then let's see what Gio says. He thinks I did a good job or not. I think I did a pretty good job. Right now it looks like this. So I think the carbon fiber makes it look a lot better. So I'm gonna do the other one right now. All right guys, so it's day two. It is 9.30 in the morning. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go, it's 9.24. Gio has arrived on scene. Gio, say what's up to the people. Day Back two. again with the white bands. Back again with the, not the white bands. Okay. Um, my cutting is not too uh, great. Please don't laugh. But from here, it looks good. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. We might keep it. Probably not. Door handles, we're probably going to get rid of these, though. These look like trash. I did them as well. And then I did the side markers. The side markers look good. We're gonna keep the side markers, they look good. I did a good job on that. All right, so a little bit of change of plans. We were gonna do the sides, but now we're on to the hood. And Gia's over here laying this side, uh, finessing, clearly. You get so much more of a view of the color. Uh, slow motion shots. Hold on, Gia, just go a little, oh yeah. All right guys, so Gio is done with the hood. Haven't shown the hood. We put the hood emblem back on. Gio's just gonna walk right in, in front of me. But um, we got the hood emblem back on. And there's the hood done. And next, we're going to do the fenders. Gio spraying. What are you spraying on there right now, Gio? Is that detail spray? No, it's alcohol. Why, why aren't you putting detail spray on there, Gio? <laughs> There's wax and detail spray. You want just straight paint to vinyl. Paint no to wax, vinyl. no contaminants. No contaminants in between. Fresh right? clay bar. Freshly clay barred. A little bit of 70% isopropyl alcohol. Just freshly clay barred. The car, well the fender, we're doing piece by piece as we go with some of the Adams Visco clay. And then Gia's wiping it down now with the alcohol. And then 
onto the fenders and then we're going to take it outside and see the color in the sunlight. Right? To wrap in the car, we had to take a quick break. We had to run to the store to grab a T20 for the door handles, and then the one that we bought wasn't long enough to get the back door handles. Seeing as, where is the one that we have, Gio? Where's the one that we bought? On the table. The T20 that we have is this one right here, and there's a few problems with this. We got to the front with it, as you guys can see, it's long enough to reach the front door, little bit in there, but. In the back door, it's not long enough. It doesn't reach all the way over here. So, huge shout out to Faison over at Mob Auto Boutique for having this in stock. This thing is like, I don't know, maybe like two feet long. <laughs> and it literally reaches past the door. Like, it's unnecessarily long. But, huge shout out to Faison for having this at a shop. Ran over there, which is like 10 minutes away. Picked this up. And now we got the door handles off, so we can go ahead and do the sides of the car. Gio just left not too long ago, probably about an hour, hour and a half ago. And um, since he left, I did a couple things on the car that I thought I would have liked. So I did the fog lights in yellow. And let me uh, turn it on, you guys get a better look. Okay, there you go. And you'll be able to see this better once I, you know, we actually finish the car and we pull it outside and we do some more shots and stuff like that of it. But I did the fog lights in yellow. I think it looks pretty cool with the blue. And then, um, I decided to go no badges here. I like that look, it looks really clean. It kind of shows off the body lines. I'm really weird about this color, as you guys can kind of see right here on the hood. It has a purplish hue, and we've noticed a lot of purple in it, but it's not a color flip or color change color. So it's pretty cool that it has a nice little flip to it, even though it's not really supposed to, or not really said to, but it's really, you see it, you notice it a little bit in person, but it's really, really prominent on camera. I also decided to go with no AMG or no uh, E63, uh, mainly because my license plate says E63, so I didn't really feel the need to put E63 back on there. And if you know what an E63 is, you know it's an AMG. All right guys, so Gio's here again. What is this, day three? Well, like really two and a half. Really day two and like a quarter. Yeah, two and a quarter. Um, so the whole car, I kind of showed you guys a little bit last night, but the whole car is pretty much done front to back, and now Gio has the bumper laid. So he's gonna go ahead and squeegee, heat, and cut. Right? Right. 